today, April 23rd, 2019. Yeah, boy. Time for independent raw opinion of the day. Let's go. Last night in the NBA playoffs. The Milwaukee Bucks sweep the Detroit Pistons by beating them 127 to 104. Giannis Alakupo led all scores with a career high 41 points. Don't you mean playoff high? Chris Militant scored 18, and Eric Bless scored chipped in 16. Let's go. Now the Milwaukee Bucks gets a chance to face the Boston Celtics in round two of the NBA playoffs. An organization that they faced six times in NBA history and only won once. But these 2018-19 Milwaukee Bucks are some bad mother. Watch your mouth. Best record in the NBA. Most dominant player in the league. Not really. And most of all, they was only one game of beating the Boston Celtics last year in the playoffs. So independent raw field. The Milwaukee Bucks has took a step forward, while the Boston Celtics have took a step back. But we'll see. Moving right along. The Utah Jazz avoid being eliminated last night by beating the Houston Rockets 107 to 91. Yeah, boy. Second year player Donovan Mitchell led the Jazz with 31. Jay Crowder added 23. And Ricky Rubio added 18 for the Utah Jazz. Took them 24 shots to do it. Now we got four games on slate tonight. The Lando Magic, who are down 3-1 to the Toronto Raptors. The Brooklyn Nets, who are down 3-1 to the Philadelphia 76ers. The Spurs versus the Nuggets, where that series is tied 2-2. And the OKC Thunder face the Toronto Raptors down 3-1. And speaking of Brooklyn, after the scrimmage they had with the Philadelphia 76ers, the team had went on record to say they're going to Philadelphia with a chip on their shoulder. Now Brooklyn, you may head down to Philadelphia with a chip on your shoulder, but you're going to leave out of there with a foot in your ass. Moving right along. The Sacramento Kings' new head coach, Luke Warren, is being accused of sexual assault. Freaky dinky. A female news reporter alleges that Luke convinced her to come up to his hotel room while he was assisting in Golden State to talk business. Wink, wink. While she was there, the reporter alleges that Luke pinned her to the bed and attempted to rape her. Moving right along. I'm independent Rob from bboaddicts.com. And you just listen to the opinion of the day. Exclusively on 950 Lounge. See ya.